Hello everyone. This video is about Natural One and DevOps. In this part, we'll focus on project and change management. This is an illustration of the Natural One DevOps process and toolchain. We start with the project and change management and tools such as Redmine or Atlassian Jira. We will now take a more detailed look at this part of the process and how Natural One is integrated into it. This screen displays the Atlassian Jira web application, which we'll be using as an example project management tool. In addition to a lot of other functionalities, application owners can create issues and assign them to application developers, who will make changes in the source code. I have created an example issue which assigns user 1 the task of updating an error message. Let's now switch to Natural 1 and see how this looks for a natural developer. This is the Natural 1 development environment. I have opened our task list in this view at the bottom. The task list is connected to a project or change management system, which is Atlassian Jira in our case. We could use any change management tool, like Bugzilla or Redmine, as long as the tool has a Mylan plugin for Eclipse. You can see the issue I was assigned through the web application, which we can now open and start working on. Let's go through how we activate this issue and mark it as in progress. We'll click to activate the issue. Then I'll scroll down to mark the issue as in progress via a radio button and then click to submit it. Every change we make here is transferred to the project management server, which we'll see up close later on. Our task is to change the error message in the case that no cruise ID is found, so let's dive into the application and see how we do this. In the left-hand pane, we can see our natural project, which is connected to a Git repository. Let's open the project and navigate to the program we want to change. We've now opened the project in the editor, so let's scroll to the bottom of the code. And here we see the error message that's part of our task. Let's change it to something different, which we'll do by simply removing the really. Our next step is to commit the changes to the repository. We'll do so by right-clicking the program, selecting Team, and then Commit. Because we're working in an active task, the commit message is actually preset with a suitable comment. The commit message is important because the issue ID creates a connection between the Git repository commit and the project management tool. If we're happy, we'll commit and push our change. Our change has been committed successfully, so let's switch back to the project management tool. In the Project Management tool, we can immediately see that this issue's status is marked as In Progress. This is because we used the Natural One environment to make and submit the change. If we select the Git Commit tab, we'll be able to see every change made in the repository regarding this issue. We can see the change we made to the program and identify the preset commit message. As an application owner, I can transparently see all changes, even if I don't have a development environment. This means we're able to see the changes that were made thanks to this interface. This was a demo about the integration of project and change management tools with Natural One and DevOps. We'll take a closer look at the repository-based team development in the next videos, so stay tuned.